Is your brain under attack? That's the question we're going to answer today. Thanks to the author of this best-selling book, Dr. Pearl Mutter is a board-certified neurologist. He joins us right now. And doctor, is our brain under attack? Well, if you look at what people are doing to their bodies, it's attacking their brains as well. It's not like the brain is somewhere else. So all of these devastating things that we see going on with uh, human health, and especially here in Western countries, that same process of degeneration is happening in our brains, and it's really because of the lifestyle choices that we are making. Just look around, and you see what people are eating. The, st the same damaging effects on a, peop on a person's waistline directly translate to damaging effects on the human brain. Who knew? Well, Doctor, we certainly did not know that until you came out with your best-selling book called Grain Brain. Why did you name it this? We chose the name Grain Brain. We like the alliteration, obviously. It has a ring to it. But uh, there's been a lot of focus as of late, the past 10 years or so, on the very damaging role that the introduction of grain-based carbohydrates has had on human health. You know, people will say, gee whiz, we've been eating grains for so long, for thousands of years. That's true. But that's a mere drop in the bucket when you compare it to the length of time we've been here. You know, humans have been here two and a half million years, and during that period of time, we never consumed this very toxic food to human physiology. Uh, wheat contains gluten. Gluten turns on inflammation, and inflammation is the cornerstone of things that you don't want, like uh, Alzheimer's disease and heart disease. I mean, who knew? that Alzheimer's is an inflammatory disease of the brain. When you eat a diet that's based high in carbohydrates uh, or you're sensitive to gluten, this turns on inflammation and can increase your risk for getting that disease, Alzheimer's, a disease for which there is no treatment. Uh, here we are in 2013. No treatment exists for Alzheimer's. That's affecting 5.4 million Americans. It's costing us $200 billion to care for demented patients in America, and yet it is preventable quite simply based upon the food choices that we make. A great uh, uh, report came out in the journal Alzheimer's Disease uh, uh, last year put out by the Mayo Clinic, and they found that those people eating the most carbohydrates had about a 90% increased risk of dementia, as contrasted to those people who ate the most fat, ate the most fat, can you imagine? and their risk for dementia was reduced by an astounding 44%. So uh, all these years when we've been given this low-fat message, oh, you've got to cut back on your dietary fat, when people do that, by default, they increase their consumption of carbohydrates. Nothing is worse for a person's health, and quite specifically, nothing is worse for the brain. We've got to restrict carbohydrates. These are the cardinal uh, areas of description uh, in grain brain and probably the reason the book has become so popular is because we're finally empowering people with the right knowledge, the science-based knowledge, the history-based knowledge that allows them to make these incredibly important lifestyle changes, really kind of relearn what we should be eating. Well, Dr. Perlmutter, let me understand, you're not saying that grain in itself is the leading cause of Alzheimer's. There has to be a ton of other factors that go into it. Uh, that's true. There are a lot of factors, uh, including family history and genetics, that deal with uh, a person's risk for Alzheimer's. And my mission is to take each and every straw off that camel's back. So grains are one factor, and carbohydrates are a huge, huge factor. And the point is that most of the grain-based products that people consume are high-carbohydrate foods the breads, the pastas, the cereals. So whether we're talking about gluten specifically or not, the fact is that those foods are high in carbohydrates and those are the undoing of your brain. You know, you start to walk into a room and you forget why, you can't find your keys, you forget people's names, and they, uh, these issues become huge uh, issues for us in terms of predicting that you're already on the slippery slope to developing full-blown Alzheimer's disease. And when you do, there is nothing in the current medical armamentarium that can help you. So why not prevent the problem in the first place? Well, doctor, let's face it. We've all been on a grain diet. Is it too late? Well, we've all had grains. It's not too late. And I've had as many grains as you over the years. That's true. But it is absolutely not too late. 
the human brain has a remarkable ability to regenerate itself and actually grow back new brain cells. And that was something we were not taught in medical school. That's only research over the past 10 years. So it is absolutely not too late. And, you know, they say every journey begins with the first step. So, you know, my plea to you is really, uh, Khan, let's make that first step today so that when you're 80 and you're 90 years old, you know, you're still interviewing people on television. That, what a great thought. Well, Doctor, I'm still struggling with wheat being the major culprit here. Are there other factors we need to consider? Exercise is critically important, as you mentioned. Protecting your brain, your head during contact sports, absolutely like we've seen with the issues with dementia developing in the NFL uh, arena, uh, is also very important. But grain-based foods, high-carb foods, according to what our most well-researched uh, well-respected researchers are telling us is a fundamental player in brain health. Now, we don't all want to uh, like that notion. We don't want to look at our croissant or our bagel as a threat to brain health. But if you look at the science, it's, it's really a hard pill to swallow, but it's absolutely the truth. Well, Doctor, we certainly respect your board certification in neurology and the foundation you have down in Naples. Thank you for the book, and uh, it'll continue to challenge us and the thoughts towards Alzheimer's. Thank you. Thank you.